We're getting out into the rain today on purpose, and we've been waiting for this rain to, to come. It's finally here, and we want to get outside. And we're in Snow Canyon State Park, and we're walking back into a canyon where we hope to find a little bit more water. You can see it's been raining a little bit. Bob is walking on his favorite surface. Uh, Bob, what's the secret to hiking on sand? That's the problem, I don't know it. <laughs> So we've just come up from Padre Canyon. We parked near the sand dunes in Snow Canyon State Park and came up that, that rocky, gravelly road up past the water tanks. And, and then we're returned. And then we came into West Canyon Trail with this deep wash, deep sandy wash. Um, and we come to the junction now where we have a choice of either going right to Red Sands, that's where Three Ponds is, or going left to Padre Canyon, which leads to Tuacon if you go up over the saddle. And that's the direction we're going to go. This is why we came up into this area was to capture these pools that fill up when it rains. And I'm trying to find a way around this. Looks like I'm gonna have to work my way up on this ledge and try to stay. This rock is slick when it's wet. And I gotta be a little careful. There we go. And then it's gonna be a running, a jump. There we go. So Bob, we're moving back from this two pools right here and we're going to follow our feet just following more pools. Uh, as we go up this slot, it's not narrow, but there's pool after pool and you can see where the grooves are where the water would flow. We we're hoping it would be flowing more. You just have to do what you can do, but we love all these nice pools of water. So this is something you don't often see. This is a manzanita bush. What's unique about the manzanita is that red bark you see back on the tree back there. But these, you don't often see this. These are little buds from the flowers of the manzanita bush. Beautiful. We've come to a, a really nice pothole. I mean, this is a classic pothole that you see in the sandstone in southern Utah and all over the west where there's sandstone softer rock like this. But you can just see how the water is coming here and plummeted through here and just pummeled this area, this area and, and dug deeper and deeper, fills up and then continues on down through this wash. But I uh, don't want to fall in there. Come to another pool looks fairly deep. Looks like an obstacle to try to overcome here. Yeah, I think we're gonna have to spread eagle this to get to the other side. Mark, you go first. I, I brought my speedo. <laughs> <laughs> this is one of the things we love about going into slot canyon areas is is the obstacles that you come up against and the challenge of trying to overcome them. So one way, of course, is to Bob was talking about spread eagle. You're really you're stem walling across one side and this has got some pretty sandy environment so you're going to put your hands on one side and your feet on the other and you're going to put a lot of pressure across the top of this of course i'll ruin this good camera if i take a dip but this is what you were describing bob and it's a little treacherous but i can get a foot over here and now i'm across work my way up and now i'm climbing up inside this area it's great this is a lot of fun. I think I can just spread eagle all the way across, Mark. <laughs> You're making it look way too easy. <laughs> Why uh, make it more difficult than it is? Okay, Mark, we've come to a section here where 
decisions need to be made. Yeah, the adventure continues. And if you look at what we're up against here, we've got a couple of ways we could go up this way or this way. And as we try to assess what we see here, we see some moss. That's usually slippery. There are some sh steep edges. We could climb up through there. But as I look at this narrow crevice here, and it's a little bit sandy and, and there's not a lot of grips here. But I think I can get a handhold here and pull myself up through work my way up inside, get another grip, and I'm, I'm up on top pretty quick where I could have faced a little more difficult task over there. You're in the way now. So one of the things that is important to do when you're hiking is, to, is as you're descending something, it might be a little bit steep. There's a variety of ways you can do it. One is to look for footholds where you can get a foot inside a crevice and then make sure you're hitting flat spots as best you can and get flat angles just like that. The other option, of course, is just to sit on your butt and do a crab walk down. And you can just come down a steep face just by crab walking and stepping down. So you may come across some places where crab walking just isn't going to help because the bob slide is what works. It's really good on the hands. That's more like a luge. We're in the middle of a, not a narrow slot canyon, but you're trying to keep your camera with you and, and tell me about how it's easier now. Well, we came across uh, these harnesses online and uh, they look like a really handy thing to keep with us. So it's, it's called the cotton carrier harness. So what it does is you can lock your camera in on your chest and they have other versions of this, but just you set it in and twist it locked in, holds it right in place, which is really ideal for days like this when we're hiking and scrambling and, and uh, need both hands, use of both hands while we're walking or hiking. And you have no camera dangling by your side? Nope, it locks right into place there, real easy to take out on the fly. We love it, it's great. So we've been talking about this cotton carrier that we love to, to use with the camera, easy on, easy off, but when you want your hands free in a situation like this, where you've got to maneuver up through a rock climb area and you're looking for hand grips, trying to get your positions. This is a great example of how this is helpful. 